see you. So how are you? Lulu, huh? It's not what you think. No? Because Billy saw you. I can explain. Oh, he saw you two together, to be more precise. Just give me a second to explain myself. Okay. Go ahead. Go. I didn't think so. You know what, though? I get it. The stars, the campfire, it's all very romantic. I mean, how could you resist? I'm just really, really glad I didn't stick around for that. Hey, you're not sticking around as what got us here in the first place, Jane. Got us where? You can't put this all on me. That's completely unfair. I was looking forward to being with you. Well, you've got a funny way of showing it. What about you? Hell's wrong guy. What are you talking about? You said you couldn't come to the camp because you had to work. I did have to work. I called you. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I called because I wanted to... I don't know. I wanted to hear your voice or something, which is idiotic. I realize that, but... You want to know what's idiotic? You sticking your tongue down Lulu's throat. That's what. What were you doing, Jane? Nothing. Sure sounded like something when that girl answered your phone. India? I could barely hear over all the music blasting at your work function, but what I did hear was her yelling at you in wrong guy. <laughs> so you just hung up the phone and then marched over to Lulu's what was tent I supposed and supposed to think. You you didn't even give me a chance to explain. I, I don't know what else to say. Change. Don't just let me. Okay, I can't I can't talk to you. Not anymore. For the record, absolutely nothing happened with wrong guy. I was too busy talking about you.